Hello everyone, and welcome to another Clash of Clans video. Today we have a popular Legend League base released by Itsu, and we're going to look at how to 3-star it using three different strategies. Uh, the first one is going to be a Yeti Smash, second is a uh, Zap Quake, Lalo, and finally the Hybrid Attack. So I chose these strategies based on how popular the strategy is, and um, how easy it is to get 3-star, so... The first one's going to be less easy than the final one, which is a hybrid. So I'm going to show you, in order of difficulty, how to 3-star it. If you want to find more bases in Legend League and how to 3-star them specifically with hybrid, I have a second channel where I post almost all my Legend League triples. So if you're looking for um, how to 3-star a certain base, then um, it's likely that I've seen it and passed by it and tacked it and 3-starred it. So, if you're interested in that, you can check out the um, link in the description below. But anyway, so with the hybrid attack here, or the Yeti special attack here, the idea is to get the queen to funnel in one side, and uh, on either side she can get the first layer of defenses down, and then the Yetis, Witches, and Bowlers have nowhere to go other than around the ring. And the queen generally is able to go inside the base and take out the town hall on her own because the bowlers and witches and stuff all go around the outside and attack the rest of the stuff. So the only way the only way she could path is to the town hall. Usually she'll survive this, but if she doesn't, then the healers switch. And as long as you get the town hall down, then the rest of the base is fine. The rest of the rest of the attack is fine. You're probably in a three star anyway. So yeah, that's that's it. It's not very consistent, which is why I put it first, but it is a very popular strategy, so I thought it was necessary to show it. Um, if you haven't seen this base before, or you haven't attacked it, or haven't found a way to triple it yet, then here's a suggestion. So, not very much left, but the witches do help out quite a bit. And also, I added witches to the army because that's generally what the top players on the Legend League leaderboard use. So, um, yeah. So this is the easiest strategy for like clan war attacks. Is this is exactly what I would prefer if I find the space in clan war? Is the zap quake on the town hall, and then just breaking into the base and getting the queen, and a little bit of pathing as well. So we have the king going for the queen, uh, and tanking for the queen and the RC. The RC here, the her job is to take down that sweeper. So, so if she does this, this is a lot easier than if she doesn't, but it's still fine if, even if she doesn't. You're probably going to get it anyway, as long as your Lalo is uh, pretty good. So she gets the sweeper, and now we go from the opposite of the base to uh, for the Lalo. And one thing here is, not a lot of people in Legend League bring a Rage spell, but it's pretty important for the way that I do this Lalo here, is um, getting to the Town Hall is pretty difficult, so it's easier to use a Blimp and a Rage spell to take down the Town Hall. Um, so it makes it more consistent to get that 3-star. Warden ability over the um, Inferno Tower and the Scattershot. And then just using the free spell on the Scattershot and Eagle, which are both in range, but I think I missed a, one of them. So it's not the easiest it's not the easiest freeze to land, but it is possible to do. So that's a good way to do it. And with a minute left, it's gonna be a pretty good cleanup here. So if I see the space in Clan War, this is exactly how I would approach it. And yeah. You can also, I think I used some of the headhunters with the um, friendly queen, but you can also use that for the RC. That would probably be a good idea. So yeah. And then finally the hybrid attack, which is my favorite for this base. And this is the way that I approach most ring bases for the hybrid attack. You have the queen on this side, and there's a bunch of Black mines there, so you should be careful. Um, 
So Queen goes here to break in and take out the Scattershot and the RC. And then whichever way she passed, it doesn't really matter. But in this case, she passed down to the left. And with the King on that side as well. And I'm also going to drop the Siege Barracks there as well. So the King and the Siege Barracks and the Queen are all going to help take out like half this ring before I drop a single miner. And so that'll make the um, the path to the town hall is direct in that way. So you don't have to you don't have to think at all about getting the town hall because you're going directly to the town hall with the miners. So with the queen helping out on the side, we're going to drop the poison spell on the witch. Um, it's who used to poison, uh, used a witch and a hound on this base in his video, but I'm not sure how many people will actually use that strategy or use that composition because um, most people use a hound and headhunters. So the king in this case will actually tank the headhunters as well, so you don't have to worry about them either. Spruce shoot well on the um, Inferno Tower, and then directly after that. All the hound uh, miners and hogs. I only got one miner to go to the town hall, so that's a bit of a risk there. So I think I did that a little bit too early on this attempt. Um, but the warden ability right after that, in order to uh, get everything inside there, and then the queen and the healers and the miners are working on the outside to take down the rest of the base. So, Warden Ability first, then a bunch of heals. So, and we had the RC as well for backup on the Town Hall. Just in case we didn't get that many, uh, just in case we didn't get enough miners to that area. But, as you can see, we have probably about 12 or 13 miners left up there. So, that's going to be it for that base. Um, if you'd like to suggest more bases for this series, then you can do that on my Discord server or in the... Um, comments below so so yeah and also check out my second channel for the Legend League attacks uh, that'll probably be helpful for you if you're doing uh, hybrid attacks or maybe Zap Quake Lalo which I may do in the future so I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something I've been Race Gaming and I'm out